How do you get people to want to opt into your email list, to voluntarily give you their contact information? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So stay tuned. It's YouTube for Agents Live. Welcome back to YouTube for Agents, where I help real estate agents be able to dominate their local markets by making free YouTube videos that will bring you more clients, more closings, and more commission checks. So I am coming at you live today because, hey, we got a whole lot of time sitting at home to these days, don't we? And so there has never been a better time for making content on YouTube. And I want all of you watching to join me. If you will commit to making more video content than you've been making in the past, I want you to make this your goal for the next few weeks. Knock on wood that it's not a heck of a lot longer than that, but we'll see. Type more in the comments if you are going to start making more video content to take advantage of this downtime. You know you want to, you've been meaning to for a long time and you just haven't yet. So my name is Karen Carr, for those of you that don't know me. I am your hostess with the mostest, and I'm here today to show you how to get more people into your database, how to get more people into your CRM by offering a lead magnet. So it's something that will attract your ideal client. It will also get more prospects to contact you voluntarily. But first, a word from our sponsor, and our sponsor is me. I have a coaching program called YouTube for Agents. YouTube for Agents is your complete blueprint from A to Z, where you will learn how to generate clients from YouTube without having to spend any money on ads. So if you'd like more information, just go to youtubeforagents.com. And I'm very pleased to announce that I have a new program. It's kind of a self-serve do-it-yourself course. It is a version of YouTube for Agents without the group coaching component of it. So it's very, very affordable. And you'll be able to learn more about that when you go to youtubeforagents.com. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's welcome all of you that are joining me live. This is very exciting. Look how many people are on here live already. This is crazy. crazy. So Cindy, Raymond, Loco from Noco. I love that. That's very funny. Pam Spencer, thank you for telling me who you were. I wouldn't have known. Let's see, Audrey, Marianne, Lori, this is so cool. I love how many people are joining me live. You know that I'm not much of a live streamer, right? I love YouTube because I can pre-record, edit it, take out all the mistakes, and then upload it. So live streaming is always a new thing for me. So I appreciate you joining me. And I do have to tell you a little story. I have enlisted my husband to be the producer for this. I was like, I can't press all these buttons and make all these graphics pop up on screen while I'm talking to the camera. So Chris, thank you very much for doing this for me. If anything goes wrong, we'll just blame him. Okay, it's not me. So <laughs> that is awesome. I thought I would start with a question of the day. This was a question that I saw in the Facebook group. And if you're not a member of YouTube for Real Estate Agents on Facebook, you should absolutely join that group. And it came from my friend, Jason Reagan, where he said, hey everyone, looking to get a wireless lapel mic for my Sony A600 camera. I was hoping you all could give me your ideas of what to buy. So I do have one of these. And again, I need to thank my dear husband because he gave it to me for Christmas last year. It is this one right here. It is the Movo, uh, you can read the, the number yourself, right? But it's a wireless lav mic. So you clip it onto your lapel and then it's got that little battery pack thing. So you totally feel so legit, right? When you use this thing, you tuck it into your pocket or you clip it to your waistband. And then the other part is attached to your camera. You can also get it to work with your smartphone. Takes a little bit, bit of finagling. I had to Google it. I had to find a lot of instructions, but I was able to get it to work with my smartphone. But it's really cool because then it's wireless and you can walk around and you're not tripping over this 30 foot cord. So if you are looking for a wireless one, I will put the links in the comments. Are we able to do that now? Nope, we will put that in the comments after we are all done <laughs> so that we can, you can't just put it right here. We're having some uh, learning how to do this whole live streaming thing, right? Let's see if we can put it in the comments. Command V, 
boom. I love it. It's the simple, simple things that make me happy. But I've had good success with it. It's not cheap. I mean, it's a $150 microphone, but if it's something that you're gonna use over and over and over again, it is a write-off, it is a business expense because you're using it to make these videos for your business. But it's nice because it comes in a little case. You can carry the case. You can, um, uh, I think it takes AA batteries and I think I've only had to replace the batteries one time in all the time that I've been using it. So it's pretty awesome. So. Now that that is out of the way, let's get on to today's topic. So have you struggled with a way to wrap up your videos? You're making these great YouTube videos, you're appealing to your ideal customer avatar, and you get to the end and you're like, I just don't know what to say. So we tend to default to, hey, call me if I can help you, send me an email. And that just doesn't really perform all that well on YouTube. When people start to feel like they know, like, and trust you, they will eventually pick up the phone and call you. But if this is the first time they've seen your video, they're just not ready to do that yet. It's kind of like when you go car shopping and you walk into the parking lot and you see all the car guys that are standing on the front steps and you're kind of like, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. I don't want them to see me because if they come over here, I'm never going to get rid of them, right? So we kind of try to avoid them until we have a question and we want to talk to them. And it's really the same principle on YouTube. So having, having a salesperson just nag the heck out of them is their worst nightmare. And we don't want to have that happen. So I'm going to tell you what works extremely well on YouTube. And that would be... So for those of you that don't know, what is a lead magnet? It's basically a free document that you're going to offer in exchange for their name and their email address and their phone number. It's typically a PDF. Um, it could be a link to a page on your website, but a PDF works very well. So up on the screen right now is an example. This is one that I did where it was a home inspection checklist. I was talking in my video about why do you need a home inspection? And at the end I said, so now you know why you need a home inspection, but do you know what the home inspector is looking for? No worries, I've got this free guide, you can go get it right now. And then you just say, click the link down below. If you are fortunate enough to have 4,000 hours of watch time in the last 12 months and 1,000 subscribers, you can say, click right here, and it pops out on top of your YouTube video screen. But until that happens, no big deal, we just say click down below and we put it in the description box. And we'll put a link down there to go get your lead magnet. So this was one that has worked extremely well for me. The last time I looked at it, it had gotten 31 leads. And the reason I really love this strategy is because you are not asking for anything. You are offering value you are saying, if you'd like my free guide, here it is. Now we know that we're getting something in return, right? We are gonna get their contact information and then you're gonna follow up with those people. But if you have earned their trust and they don't feel like you're a salesperson, they're gonna fill out that form because they want what it is that you are offering. It has to be something, and that's the kicker, it has to be something juicy enough that they will give you their contact information in order to get it. You cannot offer them like, a list of homes under 200,000 because they'll just go to Zillow and get that themselves. You have to offer them something that they can't just easily find on the internet by themselves. So if you make it something that is kind of like the next logical step in what we've been talking about in our video. If your video was targeting sellers that were thinking of selling for sale by owner, at the end of the video, you've told them how they can sell for sale by owner, but maybe it's a lot more difficult than they think and it's gonna cost more than they think it's going to because now they gotta pay to advertise on all these different websites. What could you offer them that would make them want to give you their contact information? And that's the key. You gotta think about what is a logical offer based on what we've been talking about so far, that it's not all things to all people. It's not a guide for buyers and sellers and investors and people that wanna buy a vacation home. It is one offer to one person that answers one specific question, what we've been talking about in the previous video. And that what's, that's what makes a very effective lead magnet. So let me share my screen and I'm gonna show you some ways that you can make your own lead magnets. And 
you know the the ones I'm going to talk about because I have a couple of of um, apps that I love that I use over and over and over again. Okay, we don't need to see myself on my YouTube screen. So we're going to go over to Canva. Canva is awesome because they have so many templates for you. So whether you use the paid version of Canva or you use the free version of Canva, you can get a lot of these templates for you already. So this was one, it was just called a presentation. I went to Canva, I said, I typed presentation into the search bar and I picked one that looked pretty. So in an ideal world, you would figure out what you want to say in this lead magnet and you'd write it all up like in a Word document, Word, Google Docs, whatever it is that you use. Then you pick your format. So we like this one. This looks very serene and pretty and it's lovely and it's all formatted. And then we're just going to copy and paste. We're going to copy the stuff that was in your Word document over here into this document. We're going to brand it with your name, your contact information, your logo, all this kind of stuff. You can talk a little bit about your company and how you help people. There are a ton of pages in this. It does not need to be this long. Two pages, three pages, I'd say like five pages at the most, even a single page. It could be one page, a one page checklist, and it would be awesome. Then when it's all done, we just go up here and we download it. So I like to do PDF standard because if you do PDF print, the quality is beautiful, but it's for like printing and binding and giving somebody a hard copy and the file size will be huge. So if you do PDF standard, it's a small enough file size that you can download it easily and you could probably send it to somebody in an email as an attachment or you can put it on a landing page, you can put it on Google Drive, you can put it on Dropbox and just share the link with them. So that is how we make, well, I like to make my lead magnets. I love to do it in Canva because it's simple. I don't have to do a lot of graphic design, but when it's done, it looks freaking awesome. So let me go over to the chat and look at some comments and see, are there any questions that I can answer for you? Let's see, can you go, I'm gonna see if I can drag this over onto my screen because I love this. Oh, look at that. Can you go over how to set that up? If it is in Google Downloads, where will they give you the contact info if you don't have a landing page? Okay, so that's what we're gonna go over next and I absolutely will show you how we're gonna do that. But if you don't have any sort of landing page, you have to have a place where they can get this document. So Dropbox or Google Drive and you're just gonna share the link they will then download it. That would be probably the least uh, difficult way to do it for somebody that doesn't have a lot of technology already set up. All right, Patty, you liked my sound effects. That's awesome, very cool. Um, let me see if we have any other ones. Rachel Bodner, you always miss my live shows. I'm glad you made this one. I know, right, like when we don't have tons and tons of appointments every day, it makes it a lot easier to have people attend my live streams. It's very exciting. <laughs> Normally when I go live, it's like seven people. Oh, so Rodil, you like my camera, do you? Like I've been joking about it lately. Can you slide that down just a little bit so it's not right in the middle of my face? Thank you, dear. I love having a producer. I can just order him around and he does what I tell him to do. It's awesome. Highly recommend it. Um, I have the <laughs> I have the Canon T7i. It's kind of a funny story. We saw it for sale, at, it was at the BX, wasn't it? We were shopping at the, um, the local army base and my husband's retired military, so we shop at the commissary in the BX. We went in, they had this table with like all of their clearance cameras and we saw it on there and it was dirt cheap and we were kind of like, oh, should I stop using my iPhone and actually get a real camera to, to film with? And we didn't, I don't think we bought it right then and there. We started Googling it. We did all of our research and it got really, really great reviews. So I figured what the heck, let's go ahead and get it. And I tried to use it. It was intimidating as hell. It had all these different lenses. He bought me like 19 different filters for Christmas. I'm like, I, I don't even know what this stuff does. And it was so overwhelming. I stuck it back in the box and I literally did not touch it for another year. Now I am just starting to use it again because I'm not really using a lot of bells and whistles. I literally just have it turned on 
with the standard lens and I'm trying not to mess with all the settings and stuff because it's still a little bit intimidating to me, but I'm glad that you think the quality looks good. Thank you very much. Cool, cool, cool. Um, uh, Stuart, you're talking about the, the mic. What happened to the smart mic? I still have the smart mic, but this is, so I do have the smart mic plus, which is a Bluetooth microphone, but it's only for phones. So if you do not film with your phone and you have an actual camera, you won't be able to use the smart mic, smart mic plus the smart mic plus is this lovely little beauty. And if I can remember to get the link for it, I'll put it in the comments down below. It looks like this. It is the Smart Mic Plus, and it just clips onto your thing, your little lapel right here. It's Bluetooth, but it literally is only for mobile devices. It's not for cameras. And Jason's question was, what do I use for an actual camera? Because believe it or not, there are people out there that don't only film with their phone, right? All right, so now your question was, well, where do we put the lead magnet? We've made this great lead magnet. How do we give it away? So now let's go, oh, I can't reach, it's so far away. Let's share our screen again. And now we're gonna come back over to something like Lead Pages. Lead Pages is a landing page solution. If you have a full-blown website that will allow you to make landing pages, by all means, use it. If you already have a website that lets you make these landing pages, there's no need to get something else. But if you don't, if you only have a website that's provided to you by your brokerage, I would encourage you to get your own thing. And here's why. I've heard so many stories of people that never intended to leave their brokerage, but then they did. And because they had built everything on the company provided website, they lost it. When they changed companies, it was gone and it was gone forever. Um, same thing if you set up your YouTube channel using your brokerage email address. If you leave that brokerage and they discontinue your email address because you don't work there anymore, you have now pretty much lost your entire YouTube channel. Don't let that happen to you. So lead pages is something that I really, really like. It's relatively inexpensive. I don't remember exactly what I pay, but I want to say it's something like $30 a month. It's not crazy. And then here is, if you'll click on the next tab for me, here's an example of what one of their lead forms looks like. I really like this because it's very clean, it's very simple, it's beautifully designed. We don't have to do anything except maybe change some of the text. And then if you scroll down just a little bit, you see that this is all there is. Get your guide, click this link, fill out the form, that's it. Then you put a little bit of your information at the bottom. I probably wouldn't even put my photo. I would literally put my brokerage's logo and a little tiny bit about the company itself because I have to. I don't wanna get in trouble with my real estate commission, but we're not advertising us all over this form. It's really just as little information about you as possible and instead it's all about them. So you tell them what is in this guide, what they're going to get and how to get it. So I really like having a landing page for this purpose. Once they fill it out, they immediately get the PDF on screen or it will send them an email with the link attached. If the PDF is small enough, it could be attached to the email. Otherwise it would be a link to your Dropbox or something where they could download it. The next one I'm gonna show you is MailChimp. And MailChimp is free. It's a landing page solution that's totally free. So when you come over to MailChimp.com, you click on marketing platform and go to landing pages under campaigns. Uh, there it is. Thank you, thank you. Click, please. My trusty assistant is so awesome. And then as you scroll down, it's going to show you a typical landing page. And again, it's a very clean, modern, minimalistic design. Doesn't have a lot of stuff on it you get to decide what you want to ask for. Do you want their name and their email and their phone number and more stuff? Keep in mind, the more stuff you ask for, the less likely they're going to fill it all out. So I always ask for name and email. I make phone number optional. And then I usually do put in, we call it a wild card, which is how soon are you looking to move? And that way, if they put in two to three months, I know that they're a really hot prospect. And if they say, 
three years from now when I retire, that's great. I will still get in touch with them. I will still talk to them. I will still put them on a drip campaign, but I know that I don't need to be checking in with them, you know, constantly because they're still a long way out. So MailChimp is completely free. Even Google Forms, it doesn't look pretty. I wouldn't recommend Google Forms unless you just have no other alternative, but at least it's completely free. If you can put a little bit of money toward this, I would say Lead Pages is a great solution. If you have a CRM like Engage More CRM that includes landing pages, that would be amazing. If you have a website, I use Easy Agent Pro that has landing pages on it, that would be great too. So just try to do what you can with what you have and if you don't have anything at all, you can always start with the free stuff. You can always start with MailChimp and Dropbox and Google Drive and all that kind of stuff. And then as this starts to work for you and you start getting more leads and you start getting closings, I mean, once you get a $6,000 commission check, I think you can go sign up for lead pages, right? Or I think you can go sign up for a solution that will do this for you. Because at the beginning, when the leads are coming in, if it's not automated and you have to stop what you're doing to send them an email and say, here is your free thing, that gets old in a hurry. We want to make this automated. As soon as they fill out that form, we want them to get an email that says, thank you so much. Here is the link to download your free thing. It can also pop up on the computer screen right then and there. It will automatically start a drip campaign. That's my goal because if they download something for first time buyers, it's a pretty sure bet that they're interested in buying their first home. Let's start them on a follow-up campaign geared toward first-time buyers. And the more that you can automate this stuff, the more it frees up your time so that you're not like, oh my God, I got a million things to do today and only 10 minutes to do it. When it happens automatically, now it's just a matter of pick up the phone and call this person and you don't have to do it within five minutes. That's my other favorite thing. When it comes from YouTube, they already know you. They're already starting to like and trust you. By the time they fill out a form like that, they do know, like, and trust you. So if it takes you an hour to call them, they don't say, oh, I've already called the next agent in line. They say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you called me. This is so cool. I feel like I'm talking to a celebrity. It's really awesome. So what kind of lead magnets have you guys used in your business? I want to see some comments. Like if you have a lead magnet that you've made, I've had great success with my relocation guide. The home buyer checklist is great. I have a VA buyer's guide. I have a, I call it a pre-shoot checklist, which we give to sellers to say, this is what you need to do to get your house ready for the photographer. Because when the photographer comes to take photos, you want your house to look like it's straight out of a magazine. Um, and just a little shameless plug, when you join my YouTube for Agents coaching program, I give you all of these lead magnets for free. All you gotta do is go in and put your name and your logo on them. We make them for you and give them to you so that we try to make this as easy for you as possible to start implementing. That's not included with the do-it-yourself course, but it is included with the full-blown coaching program. So I wanna see what kind of things you are using. Let's see, what comments do I have? Um, what lead pages work best for everybody? Yeah, everybody comment, chime in. I told you which ones work for me. And hi, Tommy Mutchler. I wanna to give Tommy a little plug as well. Tommy makes drip campaigns. He makes follow-up campaigns. He writes out what to say in an email so that when they start on an auto follow-up campaign, they are getting timely information. And he's written these all and has great success with them and has graciously shared them with people for free. So Tommy, if you wanna put your website in the comments, I know you had to recently change the name. So if you wanna put that in there, you totally have my blessing to do that. Nora loves Bend. Nora lives in Bend, Oregon, and she has a relocation guide, and that's what works best for her. When you work in an area where a lot of people are relocating to your city, a relocation guide or some sort of newcomer's guide is an amazing, amazing lead magnet. I can't tell you how many hundreds of leads we get from our relocation guide. It's pretty cool. Trish, you've got a seller's guide. Is Bubbles featured in your seller's guide? Trish has a big pet pig named Bubbles. I love Bubbles so much. I tell Trish I want Bubbles to be in every single video that she makes because Bubbles is hysterical to me. She's like a dog, but she's a pig. And I think like Bubbles needs to be featured in your lead magnets as well. That's cool. 
Uh, Kevin Dardano says, I have a website thanks to your affirmation. Good, I'm so glad. I, I really think that everyone needs to have a website. Back in the day, I didn't think that. I thought that the website was basically a glorified business card. It was just to say, hey, I'm legit. I'm a real agent. I'm with a real company. Here's all my contact information. But once I started using my website as a way to capture the buyer and seller's information, and it just exploded. Now I don't know how I ever lived without it. I seriously don't. So I got my website about four years ago now, and and I don't I don't know how I ever lived without it before. So I still love, 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 love. Um, oh, somebody else is an Easy Agent Pro user. Right on. I love my website. I think it's awesome. Does Wix do landing pages? Rachel, it totally does. So my YouTube for agents.com website is built on Wix. That is a Wix website. Now I can't, I'm not a graphic designer and I didn't make it look so beautiful. I did hire one of my clients actually, one of my buyer clients said, hey, by the way, I'm a web designer. If you ever want me to build you a website, I can do it. So I paid her a fee to build it for me, but it's all built entirely on Wix. And yes, you can absolutely make landing pages. There's something where, I'm assuming you already have a Wix website because you're asking me this. There's something where you make the page where you like hide the header and footer. So you're basically hiding the navigation bar, hiding all of the, the menu bars, right? Um, Lynn, am I using a ring light? No, I am actually facing a window. I do have an LED light. They're the kind that have the barn doors that open and close um, only because it's getting later in the afternoon and I didn't want the light to change while I was in the middle of the broadcast. But honestly, I could probably turn it off and you wouldn't even know the difference because I'm just facing a great big window. So yay for natural light. Uh, Richard says, would be great at some stage to see your setup that you're looking at. Oh dude, it is such a mess right now. I don't know if you really want to see it. Um, but you know what? I will. I will I will take a picture when this is all over. In fact, so, <laughs> no, I can't do it now. Because if I do it now, I'm going to get all off track and I'll forget what I was doing. I'll take a picture and... Um, I can't put a picture in the comments on YouTube. Where could I do it? I'll put it in the YouTube for Real Estate Agents Facebook group so you can see what this setup looks like. But my favorite part of this whole setup is the software that I'm using to go live because normally I don't. Like when I go live on Facebook, I normally don't have a lot of bells and whistles. And this time I was trying to step up my production game and I'm using a package called Ecamm Live, which is very much like Be Live TV. Uh, BeLive.tv, only it's specifically for Macintosh computers, and it does so many cool things. And I've never really used it to its ability before, and so now I am taking this opportunity to further my own knowledge and learn how to make a better looking live stream, right? So, Trish, she's my love. I know, Bubbles is awesome. Cool. Um, Tommy says his website is still under construction, but if you email him at Tommy at TommyMuchler.com, He'll add you to his email list. Um, I think he he got his hand spanked by NAR because he had the word realtor in his name or something like that. So cool. Um, let's see what other questions do we have. How do you do your thumbnails? Oh, that's a whole different conversation. Do we say Gemma or do you pronounce it? You don't pronounce it Hema because you're French. You're French Canadian, right? So it's Gemma. I don't want to mispronounce your name. I love your videos. I love your accent. It's just so adorable. So yes, it is Gemma because now that I think about it, I've watched your videos and I know how you say your name. Thank you, Alan. That's awesome. Well, so how can you implement this in your business? You need to think about what is my video going to be about and what would be the next logical step for this person to take? What piece of content can I give them that will help them take action? Whatever we've been talking about, what would help them go to the next step? If you're talking about why you should relocate to this area and you say, hey, I've got this free relocation guide, click the link down below and I'll give it to you right now. The relocation guide is gonna help them because they know nothing about the area and you're gonna give them all of this great content and they're going to want it because there's not a lot of stuff out there like that. They could go to the Chamber of Commerce and get a relocation guide, but it's literally 80 pages and 70 pages of them are ads. So the information in the relocation guide, you know, there's some good information, but trust me, the one that you make is gonna be way, way, way better. So you gotta be thinking about what are we talking about? What could I offer them that's the next logical step? And then how can I get it to them 
as easily and simply as possible with a low barrier to entry. And truthfully, it's a landing page. In my experience, it's a landing page. If you say, email me and I'll send it to you, you're just not gonna get as many people. You're just not. You're not gonna get as many people as if you give them a landing page where they can go fill out that form at two in the morning and they don't have to talk to you. Even though they're giving you their contact information, it's like this mental thing of, I don't want you to contact me. So I'm gonna fill out this form because I feel like that's less threatening for me. I don't know why that's the mentality, but that's what it is. So that's how you can use a lead magnet. And when you do this, you will start getting leads. They go into your database. Now you got people you can follow up with. They might be a long time out. They might be ready to do something in the very immediate future. You won't know them until you call them. But when they say, I'm gonna buy a house as soon as all of this craziness is over, you will have people that you can start working with immediately. And that is the goal. We need to fill our pipeline now while we have this downtime so that when it's all over, we have new business in the pipeline that we can start working and we can hit the ground running. So that's all the time that I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to join that Facebook group if you're not already in there. Again, it's called YouTube for Real Estate Agents and we share tips and ideas for using YouTube as a lead generation strategy, bonus content, and so much more. I'm Karen Carr with YouTube for Agents and I will see you again live next Thursday right here on YouTube. Take care, everybody.